Welcome back to my channel. This is Mac with Southern Bless Homestead and today I'm going to be replacing the drive belt on a 46 inch cut Husqvarna right there and uh, it's the actual drive belt and not the the deck belt that spins the blade so we are going to get that done today. Okay, so to get to this belt, you're gonna need some way of jacking this up pretty high. And I've got a, uh, just an old hoist here where I do all my lawnmower work. So I'm going to uh, put a chain on it and jack it up. I'm gonna take this top cover off. Uh, Cause usually when I hook the chain up down there, that covers in the way. So I'm just gonna remove it and hoist this thing up. So I took the deck off real quick before I uh, lifted it up. This would uh, make it easier to get up under here and get to the belt. Goes down through there in the two pulleys. So, um, I'll show putting that back on later in the video. It's not hard, it's just got like five, five attachment points. And I will show that uh, hooking it back up later in the end of the video when I'm through. So this pulley here was for your deck. That loop right there goes right around here and it's easy, it slips right off. So I took it off with the deck. So that's your drive pulley here and the belt, you can see the belt and it goes down there back to the back transmission. So now first thing you wanna do is the left clutch over here. I'm gonna push that in and then put the brake on and that will push this in and loosen up that belt. I'm gonna do that right now. So you just push this forward. See if I can do it. See if I can do it. You can see the, there you go. See how it loosens up the belt. So I'm gonna lock that in place. So even um, if I'm not making a video for YouTube, if I'm just working on something myself, I always take a little video shot of how something um, looks or how our belt or something is routed before I take it apart. And that way, you know how it goes back together. Now, luckily for me, this here, the belt would just slip off without having to take that um, bracket off. But this one here, as you see, it just slips right off. And then it just runs right up under here and then right here. And these can be bent back enough so you can pull that off. And then it just runs. Of course, that's the, that's the, that's the clutch. It's uh, disengaged right now to cause the belt to have slack. And then it goes right back it's underneath that fan looking propeller right there on top of the transmission so that's how that goes so if you heard a rooster crowing uh in the background in this video sorry i mean this is a homestead channel and we have chickens and that rooster loves to crow you would think he would go horse by now but anyway sorry about the uh the background noise of the rooster in the video <laughs> Okay, this pulley here is gonna to have to come off because there's not enough slack to get around it. This is just a 5.8 socket. So I'm gonna remove it and then the belt should uh, come off real easy. Uh. 
No, that was nice. The uh, whole, whole thing came apart, so that's pretty cool. It's one solid piece. I did not know that. I think my uh, Craftsman I have, I think it's two separate pieces, but that's pretty cool. You always want to make sure you don't lose the uh, key that's down in there. Uh, awesome. That's great. So back in here, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't have enough clearance between, uh, you can see this and up under there, but I did have the belts off. It just uh, lifted right up and pulled right out. So that's good. So I'm just gonna put the new one back up under here. It's plenty of room, slide it on each side, make sure it's in these, uh, down up under there in the pulley. Make sure it seats in the pulley good and it should be good to go. So you can't see behind there. So you really wanna make sure that the belt is in that pulley and it is in there and it's turning good as you can see. So I'm happy with that. I know that it's in there good. All right, so as you can see, we've got everything back in there and check your pulleys while you got that belt off. Just make sure they're not loose and bearings aren't messed up. These aren't too expensive. So if you need to replace one, now would be the time to do it while you got that belt off. So and there we go. So I'm gonna put the, uh, the pulleys back on up here in reverse order, put them on, tighten that bolt back down and we'll be uh, ready to put this thing back down on the ground and get the deck on. Okay, so I released the, uh, the clutch here. You see everything's nice and tight and routed correctly. You go up here, put this back on, make sure that key uh, is lined up with the shaft and you seat it, tighten this down. And that's on there. Everything looks great. So we are good to go. I'm gonna lower this down, put that deck on. And I'll show you how to put that deck on. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is hook this spring up this is for your um, deck, deck engagement make sure you route it under all this here it comes out over here and hooks up right here to that and then this little thing goes right down in there like that now so this here is going to connect right here and this back one back here is going to connect right here so I'm going to hook those up here real quick and show you okay that's how that connects right there at the washer safety clip and then this goes up to here connects up to here it's got the washer and safety clip and the other side is the exact same way so all we gotta do now is hook the belt up and then this rod right here to the front right there as you can see got this hooked up it's got a washer and a pin in it here and then right there we got that hooked up and we got that hooked up so we are ready to go it's just hanging freely right there okay i'm gonna give this a little test run and see how it drives and um i'm gonna have the I won't be talking because uh, this thing's going to be noisy, so I'm going to turn the volume down, but we're going to drive it around and see how it works. Well, all right, we did it. Got the belt replaced, and if I wasn't making the video, 
it probably wouldn't take long maybe an hour and a half tops uh it's not hard get it jacked up and everything and pull it off it's 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 not hard but there you go it's how to replace a drive belt on a 46 inch cut husqvarna and i appreciate you watching and if you haven't already subscribed i got i'll have some other uh do-it-yourself uh mechanic videos out i've got a playlist full of them so uh check that out and if you haven't already subscribed please do so hit that like button and leave some comments whether you liked it or not and i appreciate it and hope you have a southern blessed day thank you